Hi, I'm CJ, and this is my RC hobby. I ended up recovering several large sections of the wing and completely recovering uh, both ailerons. I really did not like the tape hinges. It's a very stiff tape. Uh, it's very hard to get a good range of motion. The servos always seem to be fighting against it. I ended up peeling that stuff off completely and I used Dubro hinge tape which worked very nicely. I also did a slight modification to the ailerons. I wanted to get as much torsional stiffness as I could so I used a piece of one by three inch carbon fiber and glued that to the inner edge, the hinged edge uh, of the aileron. And that stiffened it up a good bit. I just uh, did that with CA. I taped it in place with cellophane tape to hold it in position and then dripped uh, little bits of CA glue. If you notice, it's sitting on a piece of plastic. That is just a, a plastic bag. Over the years, uh, I found that this out a very long time ago, and it's not used in this case. This is just a plastic bag, but the clear plastic film on the back of monocoat, solar coat, etc. That stuff tends to be fairly impervious to almost any kind of adhesive. So I save that backing and use it when I need to lay up a wing or uh, do any kind of uh, gluing that's going to involve lining up multiple pieces and putting them together and I don't want them to stick to the surface. Some people use wax paper, other items. Um, I find that the plastic works really well. If you look closely in this image and in the following image, you'll notice T-pins that are holding the aileron uh, in place on a cardboard box and also T-pins that are in the space between the wing and the aileron. This is how I set up the taping, at least the initial tape, on the underside of the wing and aileron for the tape hinge. This pin uh, setup keeps a certain amount of space uh, equidistant along the length of that half of the wing so that the uh, aileron is a fixed gap away uh, in some places I used two T-pins to get a little more gap and then I laid down pieces of tape. I didn't tape the entire length, it just wasn't necessary. I found I got a very nice effect with I think about five or six uh, one inch wide tape hinges. That turned out quite well. It gives a very free motion but there's no on play or f up and down movement. On one of the taped hinges closest to the fuselage, I used a small piece of a, it's like a Kevlar material for uh, pinless hinges, CA hinges. And I don't have a picture of that for you, I apologize. But I just put a little bit in there to stiffen it up if you are familiar with tape hinges or monocoat hinges, if you're looking at the wing from the edge, um, you could potentially move the surface up and down a little bit, get a little bit of flex going in that hinge. And that was more prevalent closer to the fuselage where the aileron is widest. And so I put a little piece of that material underneath the tape uh, just on the underside of the wing, not on the top part of the tape hinge. And that really solidified the hinge, but did not impair its motion at all. Uh, these are just a few little tricks and tips I'm trying to give you. Another thing I wanted to touch on is the canopy. Uh, you can see it here, uh, already prepped and glued. What I did was I took a piece of it's either two or three millimeter carbon rod and I 
glassed that into place uh, using some uh, fiberglass and some resin uh, about an inch wide in the middle. It's just one long piece of carbon rod that goes overhangs either end of the hatch by about oh, uh, three eighths to a half an inch. And it's glued in the middle so it can flex at either end along the length. And what you see there is some foam and some plastic uh, that I rubber banded in place to kind of create a, um, a similar situation to what you'd have with vacuum bagging, something that is pressing down uh, and is going to conform to the shape of um, the inside of the canopy and also around that carbon fiber rod pressing the fiberglass cloth down into those spaces there so um, it has a good solid center joint and then to put the canopy on you just slide uh, one of those ends in either from the front or the back you slide it further forward or back than necessary and then uh, drop the other side in and center it out and align it up with the um, with the grooves on the fuselage and it stays solid it's uh, not going anywhere it's a nice system I hope you enjoyed this video please click like and please subscribe to my channel if you click the bell icon you'll receive notifications every time I launch a new video thank you for watching